Hey everybody, welcome to Little John's Yarns. I'm Alicia, AKA Little John Yarns. If it's your very first time here, what we usually do, we talk about crochet patterns and drink wine at the same time. So right now it is two o'clock in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So where's everybody at right now? I've already seen some of the people in the pre-chat. I seen Epic uh, Space Dorito here. Also see my girl Dieta here, she's one of the moderators. She'll make sure everything in this chat is is going nice and smoothly. So let me hop in and see where everybody's from. Let's see, scrolling. Gina from London, wow, in the middle of a C2C scarf for my aunt. Anushka, I hope I pronounced your nose, um, name right. She says, hello. Anybody else? And oh, I see some repeaters. I see my friend SXD Symphony. So hello, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. So what we are doing here today, we are, are going to look at 10 men crochet. Well, 10 crochet pattern gifts for men. If that makes sense. This was a request last week, and I thought it was an absolute great idea. And look, we already got a super chat. Uh oh, do we? Did I miss it? Did something go off? Or is this going off on its own? No, I did get a super chat from Epic Space Dorito. Thank you so much. Hey, I wasn't working. Yay. Glad to be here. Thank you for being here. And thank you for donating on a super chat. For anybody that's never seen a super chat done before, whenever somebody donates, my lights go off. My lights didn't go off, but I have to fix that. The bubbles go off and you get a chance to spin the wheel of patterns. So I want to spin the wheel. These are patterns from my Etsy shop. And you landed on the, that is yellow. You landed on my reversible slippers. Hold on, now my light went off and my bubbles didn't. I'm gonna put this on the ground so I don't drop it. That means that somebody else donate? Let me see. Or did I just forget? It probably didn't turn off from yours if that's what happened. There we go. Now I got it. So I'll show you what those patterns look like real quick. I'll take you over to my pattern shop and what did I say you got the reversible? It was the yellow. Yes, the reversible slippers right here. So on either side, it's two different patterns, but usually once you wear them on one side, that is the permanent side. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be looking at 10 men's crochet pattern. Before I get into the pattern, I would like to talk about somebody was watching one of my live stream replays and she was saying, that's why I hate to watch live streams. You guys never get into the point. The reason for my live stream is so I'm able to talk to you on a one-on-one -on -one type of base basis. When you follow any of my tutorials, don't worry. I don't jibber jabber, I get straight to the point. But on live streams, I like to involve all of us. So before we get in that, let me tell you how we're gonna involve you. I'm gonna ask you questions before I show you these 10 men crochet pattern. All right, the questions I wrote down. What is your favorite yarn? Before you comment what your favorite yarn is, I want you to put question marks before your answer so I know to bring it up to the front so we'll be able to answer it and talk about it amongst each other. All right, so you guys ready to get into this pattern? The first one, let me pull up my script because you guys know I'm always reading behind. If any of you notice, I don't have my wine box behind me. I forgot to buy new wine, but I did get a brand new cup. My cousin made this cup for me. Let me get my hair right. Can you... Can you see behind what it looks like? It's supposed to look like me. I thought that was so cute. All right, now we're ready to get into these patterns. The very first one. This is called, the, did I put up the screen share? I did. This is called the Gentleman's Scarf. Crochet items for men don't have to be boring. This handsome crochet men's scarf is work lengthwise with an eight row repeat. Despite its intricate appearance, you'll only be using basic crochet stitches, single and double crochet. There's also some rows where you'll be working through the back loops only. The designer of this pattern is Yarn Utopia. Oh, and just so you know, don't worry about trying to remember exactly where all these patterns are. I have all the pattern links down in the description box. It'll, I have one complete blog roundup. So let's scroll down through this pattern. I would like to see the scarf a little bit of color. There it is. That's the screenshot I wanted to see. Can I get this up close? Open image and new tab. Let's see if we can zoom in on this. 
Zoom, 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 zoom. I like the, oh, so it's worked lengthwise up back and forth this way. It's not too intricate. What makes it look intricate is being worked in the back loop, which makes this little, see this little ribbing right here? That's what happens when you work in the back loop. So that's a pretty nice looking pattern. All right, let's move on to pattern number two. Scroll down so you guys can see it. These are Saturday slippers. Super, uh, excuse me, super bulky yarn makes these snazzy crochet men's slippers work up in a jiffy. You can upcycle the leather, pe leather pieces for the sole from thrifted jackets or purses. Then add a touch of style and also help give this wear more traction. This design is worked flat in back and forth rows in single crochet stitches and then seamed together. That's all back and forth rows. Okay, let me see if they, you know, I love a pattern breakdown. Oh, I see we got a super chat, but I have to see this pattern breakdown. Come on, let me see it. Excuse me, guys. I hope I don't make anybody nauseous as I scroll through this. There it is. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, I've never seen a slipper work that way. Just back and forth. Isn't that nifty? I just want to see one more picture. Okay, I'm ready. Let me hop over and see who donated through Super Chat. I see. I'm sorry. I'm trying to go through this chat and not miss anybody. Where are you? Where are you? I'm going to find you. Hey, it's Lori. Thank you so much. Hello. How is everything today? You know what? Everything's been pretty good. This is like week three of being, uh, I feel like my camera's a little bit dirty. I shouldn't rub it with my finger. Probably made it even worse. It's week three of not working my uh, day job and I feel more rested. I think I've worked harder now on Little John Yards than I've ever have. But since I'm sleeping at night, I feel pretty good. Thank you for asking, Miss Lori, and thank you for donating. So I forget the cheers on my cute little cup that my cousin made me that's supposed to look like me. But that one's, my cup's a little bit more sassy than I am. Cheers to you and let's give you a spin. You landed on my Ultimate pattern bundle. I swear you got that one. But, you know, just in case, Lori, you email me what, whatever pattern that you like if you already received the ultimate pattern bundle before. So, oh, and anybody who donates and receives a pattern, just email me because there's no way for um, for me to contact you. Email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. My email address is down below. So the question that I asked, what is your favorite yarn? All right, let me scroll up to see. I should have asked, like, what is your favorite yarn and why? Okay, I think I got it. Oh, somebody got a, a question for me. You know what? I'm going to write this down. I'll answer this in a question. Who or what inspired you to start crocheting? I'll tell you that in a second so I won't forget from Billy. Who inspired me? Who inspired I'll get back to that one in a second. Let's see. Oh, you also said Line Brand. I love Line Brand. That's one of my more favorite ones. Oh, I should tell you my favorite one. I talk about it all the time. I love my Line Brands. I love the Vanna. I love, what's my uh, other girl? Dever Normal Premier Yarns. I love them. I pretty much like any yarn. If I can get it on the cheap with a coupon, I love that yarn. Let's see. Oh, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. When I first heard about people saying, oh, this yarn is like the best yarn in the world. And then I actually tried it. Yeah, it's really worth it. I love this yarn. That yarn. Francis says, Caron is my favorite. Which Caron? I used to have a love-hate relationship. I still do with Caron Simply Soft. I love the way when you crochet with Caron Simply Soft, the way it drapes and the way it shines. But I hate the way Caron Simply Soft splits when I'm crocheting with it. Like yarn is just not spun tightly enough. But I dislike the uh, Caron Pound of uh, Pound of Love, not Pound of Love, 
care on one pound. That's what it is. I don't like that too much because I don't know. It's really thick. If I'm making slippers, I don't mind making that, but I don't like to make blankets or anything with that. So, hmm. Jane said, "Red Heart, easy to get my little in my little country of Belize." Ooh, I feel so bad. Nobody can get well. Not nobody. Countries outside of the U.S. I guess yarn isn't as readily available to everybody. I have at least five craft stores within a half an hour to 45 minutes from me in either direction. I got five different, like super big stores. They have a whole bunch of yarns and whatnot, but Red Heart, people either love it or hate it. I love Red Heart because Red Heart has like the best color selection. I especially love their like, on not ombres, but their variegated yarns. I love those, but I don't like the way they're, they're all worsted weight yarns, but all worsted weight yarn and red hearts not created the same. Let's see. This is the one I said I didn't like, but it's okay that you like it though. <laughs> but care on one pound. But you do get so much yarn. Okay. Oop, let's see somebody donate via super chat. Scroll. Kayla, you are, wait, you said you are amazing. I love your videos and I always look forward to your lives. Thank you so much and cheers to you. And my little lookalike cup. Let me turn these off. I'm smart. My bubbles go that way so I don't mess up my computer. So let's roll the pattern, Willow Patterns. You landed on the snowman. It's like barely on the snowman. Let me show you what the snowman pillow looks like. Oh, somebody said, uh, I missed it, but it was a big twist. I like big twist also. The snowman pillow right here. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at email, littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. My address is down in the description box. Mm -hmm. Oh, my girl is here. Maria, she says, sorry, I am late. Uh, I was out uh, yarn shopping. I love cotton yarn and velvet yarn, but I love this yarn. It's pretty high on my list. Guess what, Maria? I was smart this time. Maria donates masks. And I, this is one I keep next to it now I'm able to show. She donates masks to people who need them, like essential workers and whatnot. And she gave me these cute little masks, and I appreciate it so much. But all these masks that she's giving away for free, what did you say? You sent over... Type in the comment box how many masks that you've given away for free so far. But in doing so, she incurs a lot of costs. So if anybody would like to help Maria out, down in the description box, her information is down below. She has her own mask emporium. So check her out and maybe help donate some materials to her. So check her out. Okay. Back to what we were talking about. Let's see. I'm so proud of myself for um, remembering to put your stuff down below. Oh, did I miss... Okay, I gave you a spin already. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, Elaine says, it might be easier to ask what yarn I don't like. What yarn don't you like? You probably love all yarn, so therefore you don't like a lot. Right over top of my head, almost just a little bit. All right, so now we're going to hop into the very next one. The next question, where did I leave my book? Oops, I pulled up another one. Sorry about that. But Stephanie says, Kara, something soft, but velvet yarns are a close set. I was just working with a velvet yarn, my, because I didn't know what to make with it. Here it is. I was thinking about making one of those bucket hats, but made with velour. But the yarn I have right now, this is a Lion Brand Veil Lux. It's just not holding the shape that I want. I think I want to jump up into a size five. This is still considered a size four yarn. So I might try something different. I had another one. I think it was done by, it was a yarn inspiration yarn. I forget. But there's a little bit thicker. Oh, it's right here. But I don't have the brand. This is what's the leftover. This one is a size five. You can see how much thicker it is than the Violex. Violux. Uh-oh, can you guys see it? I'm sorry. 
maybe this one would make a nice thicker velour hat like a bucket hat because my daughter's been asking for one i guess you know she's on tiktok tiktok so she's like i've seen all these hats these would be cool mom won't you make one so i'm thinking about it all right so the next question that i'm asking before you comment your answer make sure you put question marks before your answer the question we just talked about what's your favorite yarn do you consider yourself a yarn snob? Is there certain yarns that you're like, I'll never touch a Red Heart Super Saver? Or you're so cheap, you're like, I'll never touch a Merino something. So what do you consider yourself a yarn snob? Put question marks in front of it. All right, so let's hop back into our lists. Now we are on the Dreamweaver being <laughs> tongue tie. Nope, tongue twisted. That's what I'm supposed to say. I'm sorry, tongue twisted. Okay, Dreamweaver beanie. This neutral color crochet men's hat is made with variegated yarn, the moss stitch, alternating single crochet and chain stitches. Make the colors chains really stand out. This easy pattern is worked from the top down and is available in seven, seven different sizes. All right, let's scroll down to see an up close picture because the picture they gave was pretty small. That is the only picture, that's the worst. Let's see. Oh, this is much better. I love this, this is cute. See, this is why I love to work with variegated yarn because variegated yarn does the work for you. I like to call myself color incompetent. I can't mix colors for the life of me. Usually if I'm making a brand new pattern, I'll ask my daughter or my husband like, hey, can you pick like three yarns put together and then I'll work a pattern around it. I'm that bad. All right, let's hop into the very next pattern. Let me scroll down. Let me make sure. Okay, yes, I'm still on screen share. This is called the Wade. Let me bring it back to my nuggets. Somebody donated. Oh, and I was able to find it quick. Rita says, love your YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Rita. Cheers to you. Oh, you donated 20. Thank you so much. I didn't even see that. Thank you. Cheers. So let's give you a spin on the Willow Pattern. You landed on my ultimate pattern bundle. So you get a collection of 40 of my crochet patterns. So please make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. The link is down in the description box below. Thank you so much. So where were we on the mustache? Did I read it yet? Wait, did I screen share? I didn't. There we go. Mustache coffee cup cozy. Does your man love his morning cup of joe? Make it extra special with this handmade coffee cup cozy to keep his hands from getting burnt on a hot cup. The mustache is my favorite part. This pattern is super easy and only uses basic crochet stitches. This will make the perfect crochet gift for dad. The designer of this pattern is busy in Boston. And remember, guys, don't worry about trying to find all these patterns. I got the roundup down in the description box below. So that was the two we went over. So we're going to hop back to my face and we're going to answer the last question. The question that I asked you, are you a yarn snob? I'll answer first. No, I am a yarn collector, a yarn rescuer, but most of the yarns that I've purchased with my own money has been cheap yarns. I can't help it. Um, back in the day, I can't, not that far back in the day, last year, 2019, especially when the store is, um, open, I'm so mad I only found it in 2019, but it's closed down now. It was DB and wine. It was discount, liquidated discounted yarns or something, but I used to buy so many yarns from them. That's where you see all these behind me. And when I used to do custom orders, you never use all your yarn from custom order. So let's say, say somebody wanted a snowman and they had a red scarf. I would have to buy red yarn and a scarf is the smallest part of snowman. So I have extra. So I have so much yarn, but most of my yarn is cheap. So am I snobby? No. When I get my hands on something like super fancy, I snag it up. 
I think it was two years ago. There is a place in, I live in Pennsylvania. There's a place in Punxsutawney that was having a sale. I guess a local yarn company was going out of business. Well, they had all these yarns, like hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of skeins of yarn for sale for 25 to 50 cents. Funksatani is about two and a half hours. My husband drove me up there and I was just in heaven. I bought at least, at least a hundred dollars worth of yarn. So you know how much yarn I got when it was, but this was a good yarn, but it was only 25 to 50 cents. I lost my mind. The back of my SUV was like full of yarn. I'm nuts. Okay. So are you guys a yarn snob? Let me pop back into the comments. Here we go. I'm trying to get as far back up. Here we go. We'll go with my Epic Space Dorito. I'm the exact opposite of a yarn snob. I'm more of a yarn gremlin. That's funny. <laughs> Wait, we got a super chat, but let me see. Scroll down. Who super chatted? I never want to miss anybody. Logan, trying to find an easy pocket shawl pattern. That should be on a roundup list. You know what? Let me write that because I don't want to hop onto the pocket shawl pattern because there's so many out there, but I bet I can do a roundup of good pocket shawl patterns. Pocket shawl patterns because there are a lot of them out there right now. But thank you so much. Let's give you a cheers and a spin of the wheel of patterns. Guess what? You get $5 right back. So make sure you email me at Little John Yarns and I will send you an Amazon gift card. So you have $5 to spend on Amazon and get yourself something crafty, yarny, crochet hook, skein or something. So email me. Okay, let's take you down. I have seen some good ones. Who was this? Brady, welcome back. I'm definitely picky about the yarn I buy. Ooh, snooty. Lee says, I don't see myself as a yarn snob. Bakers can't be choosy, LOL. Me being a beggar, so she's not choosy. Right below is Sharon. No willing to try any yarn. Wendy, not a yarn snob. In my head, I prefer natural fibers, but budgets uh, play too big of a role to be snobby. That is so true. But you know what? I can get a little, I guess it's not snobby. Do you guys have novelty yarns or do you have a collection of novelty yarns? I will buy novelty yarns because they look beautiful. They look fancy, but they're cheap. But I never use them because I don't like to crochet with them. But I love to buy them. So I have like a basket full of like novelty yarn goodness. This reminds me. Whoop, we got another super chat. Yeah, Logan. I'm going to find you. I found you. Denise, love you. Thank you so much. Love you too. I mean, thank you for watching my live chats. I get so amused that people will watch me babble live and talk on camera and talk about yarn. But I guess only people that enjoy yarn as much as I do would enjoy watching me. Makes sense? But cheers to you, Denise. Mm. And let's spin the wheel for you. And make sure when you find your pattern, you email me. You landed on the blue. The blue are my reversible headband. So let me show you what my reversible headband looks like. I know it's orange. There it is, the reversible headband. Is there any up close pictures of this right now? What the other side looks like? The other side is like a knit stitch. And reverse of that is this. That's why I love the knit stitch and I love doing the. Uh, front posts or back post double crochets. Those make the most unique textures on reverse side. So I always love to intermingle those, especially in a Mobius. 
I'm probably getting all type of nerd, yarn nerdy with it, but yeah. So make sure you email me and I'll be able to send that pattern right over to you. But I wanted to tell you, I don't know if my girl uh, J-Hook Crochet is here, but oh my goodness, she had a live stream today and I was supposed to be there to watch her. I'm the worst best buddy and I'm getting a super chat. I'm the worst best buddy in the whole entire world. Reggie, are you here? I'm so sorry. Who super chatted? I'm a bad friend right now. Oh, okay. Sarah, I love your videos and the energy you always put out. This is my first live chat. Happy to see you in real time. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you much, so much for donating. So cheers to you with my cup that looks like me. Mm. My hair is not as fluffy on one side. So let's give you a spin, Sarah. Oh, a wrong button. There we go. Guess what? You get your $5 back. So make sure you go to my email and I will send you a $5 Amazon gift card. So my email is littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. It's all down in the description box below. Back to me being a bad friend to my friend Reggie. She had a live stream today, this morning, and I told her I would be there with bells on. And I'm just now remembering that I missed it. I'm so sorry, Reggie. Please forgive me. Give me whatever yarn, yarn punishment I deserve. Reggie has a beautiful crochet channel. She's also a YouTuber. Please, guys, make sure you go check her out. I'm sorry, Reggie. Bad. We got another one. Thank you so much, Denise. Well, oh, look, wait. Cheers to you. Cheers. And sorry, Reggie. We're gonna give you a spin. You landed on my yellow. You land on my crochet snowman pillow. I actually have that sitting up over here, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. Did I put on screen share? I did. I'm always nervous I don't. This is my crochet snowman pillow. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Let's see. Let me scroll down and see if my girl read... Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a bad friend. Listen, if you ever want to do me and you alive or whatever on your channel, I'll be happy to be there with bells on and I'll set my alarm clock because I guess I would be on your show. But thank you. Oh, and there was a question that I was supposed to answer before I get into the next one. Uh, it was Billy asked me who inspired me to crochet. Well, Billy, the person that inspired me to crochet was my grandmother. I've told this story before, but the people who are just watching this for the first time, oh, 143 on my viewer account, uh, 143 and all of its variations, 314, uh, 413, those are, those are my absolute favorite numbers. Okay, I just skipped up. I find it weird. I always see that. But my grandma inspired me to crochet. She taught me when I was seven years old, and I haven't went back. We got another super chat. Wait, where'd it come from? It's not showing up in my thingy, but I see it. Where is it? Epic Space Burrito. Dorito Burrito. <laughs> I'm I'm currently only watch you and Jada. Do you have any crochet tubers to recommend? Actually, I was so, I hope you seen that when I did. I did a collab with her on my crochet gadget reviews about two weeks ago. So you make sure you go back and check that. You'll be able to tell because Jaden Stitches is on one side and I'm on the other one. What? Hold on. Say my name you oh, J my daughter's name is Jada. <laughs> so she was coming to me while I'm saying Jada and Stitches. She's probably like, what do you want? What do you want? Why are you saying my name? <laughs> I'm sorry, Jada. But you know, Jaden Stitches is my uh, one of my old time favorites. I love bag -a day crochet. Um, one of the first people was Nastasia. I love TL Yarn Craft. I love uh what is her name? Uh Joan and I know Jane Joan Anoku. She is an absolute amazing crochet designer. There, oh, and of course, I love Creative Stitch and Diva. She's one of my favorites. 
there are so many crochet YouTubers that I love. There's a lot. And uh, J-Hook Crochet, she's one of my absolute favorite YouTubers in the whole entire world. J-Hook Crochet, check her out. All right, so I'm not going to uh, keep apologizing, which I should, but we're going to move on to the very next couple. So the third question that I'm going to ask, before you answer your question in a comment, I want you to put question marks in front of your comment so I know to bring it up to the front. Have you ever been crochet bullied? Have you ever po uh, post one of your beautiful items online in a Facebook group and somebody just talked horrible about it? Or have you ever tried to sell to a family member and they just said something bad about your crochet? Have you ever been crochet bullied? Make sure you put question marks in front of it. So let me pull up the screen share. We did the mustache. Where are we at now? See if we can get the ads off and scroll down a little bit. This is called, let me scroll on my list, the steering wheel cover. If he takes a lot of pride in his ride, why not make him a steering wheel cover? No more cold fingers on early winter drives. This basic design uses single and double crochet stitches. Pick up the colors to match his car. Just pick his favorites. The designer is this is Stitch 11. And remember, guys, I got a blog post for all of this. This is a super basic pattern, just back and forth. I wouldn't expect any as-you-go pictures because... This is basically it. I would have never thought to make a steering wheel cover out of crochet. This is actually the very first time I've ever seen a crochet pattern for a steering wheel cover. Hmm. Credit to them a Stitch 11. Let me scroll down to this one. So our very next pattern is called the Cozy Couch and Bedside Organizer. My uh, screen jump. I swear uh, my screen jumped again. Sorry, guys. I swear someone keeps taking our remotes and putting them in odd places. This is an especially big problem when the game is about to come on. Keep track of important items more easily with the basic half double crochet couch caddy. The designer of this is Moogly. This super simple back and forth. This is perfect for beginners. Actually, my grandmother actually had this on the side of her, her lazy bed. Hold on, let me come over this side. Here we go. Somebody donated, but my grandma had it on the side of her lazy uh, boy chair. One of those little caddies. Let's see who donated via Super Chat. Thank you so much, Reggie. Look. We, uh, we're sending you subscribers. Forgive me. Just subscribe to J-Hook Crochet. Cheers to you. Thank you so much. Cheers. And know what? You can pick whatever pattern you want in my uh, pattern shop. It's all you. So cheers to you. But that organizer, that takes it back to when I was little because I was never allowed to sit in my grandma's chair Underneath where her organizer, that her crochet organizer laid, her uh, Lazy Boy was like old. It was one of those like leather, but it started to crack. So without that cover, it would scratch at your arm. But the cover just laid perfectly over top. And she had all her little, uh, what were what were they called? Weekly readers? What are the magazine? Weekly read? They're not weekly readers. That's what we read when I was in elementary school. Reader's Digest. Her Reader's Digest, her Jet Magazine, and we're always jammed in the um, side of it because those were always the smaller books. Okay, just took me back to grandma. So the question that I asked you guys before, have you ever been crochet bullied? I'll go first. One of the first times I was crochet um, bullied, I was just starting out as a crochet designer. I made this crochet halter top. And I guess when I posted it in one of these Facebook groups, I got attacked as all type of things. I got called names and this, and why would you post something disgusting like this? I was like, okay. Ugh. 
Another time I got crochet bullied was uh, I would say my even my own family. I would my mother right now. My mother right now is one of my biggest supporters. She always tells me like, "Baby, I told you you could do it." But when I began doing custom orders, she would look at something and be like, "Oh, I'm sorry. This is one of our. Uh, this is where my chimney is. This is our uh, stockings." But she would look at the page like, yeah, do you think anybody would buy this? I don't think nobody would buy this. I wouldn't pay that much for, I always say, people don't understand yarn. Most people who've ever received crochet, it was a gift. So crochet is undervalued because there's never been a price on crochet because you gave it away for free. I gave it away for free. free. Grandma gave it away for free. So therefore, people are like, I'll give you $5 for it. But eh. All right. So, guys, have you ever been crochet bullied? Okay, let me look. Okay, scroll down a little bit. Who has a good one? Sherry, yes, but it wasn't a fa but it was in a family member who thought that crochet items for the new baby should have been store bought. I understand. I try to tell people, you, you. I don't have to tell you. Crochet stitches is made one half, one half inch, one quarter inch at a time. Each little stitch compound upon each other makes something beautiful. Whatever they're buying is made from a factory. It's not made with love. Every Christmas or birthday, I try to get my children. I'm like, I don't want you to buy me anything. I want you to write me a letter. Tell me that you love me. Or to my little one, draw me a picture. I want something that you made with your hands. To me, I think that's way more important than something bought with money, than a gift card, than something. Hey, I don't know. But us as crafters, we're not as materialistic as people who don't craft. They don't have the skills. They don't understand like the love it takes to create something. Oh, that's one of my least favorites. All right. Let's see. Wendy says, no, I made my dad a sweater once and he didn't realize it was hand knit. That was disappointing, but not the same as bad mouthing. True. I did get upset because you guys know I always talk about my Addy, whatever, circular knitting machines. It's a machine where you can crank out uh, stockinette patterns. I mean, panels. It's great. But I made this beautiful crocheted hat for my husband. And he told my friend, his friend, that, oh, my wife can make you a hat. She just has to make this on her machine. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. There's such thing as a knitting machine there, but there is no such thing as a crocheted machine. Please appreciate my talent. <laughs> okay, crafts, um, Craftsy Wendy. Not that I can remember. Everyone that has seen or received a crochet item has loved them. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, Najat Ali. I hope I said your name right. I probably didn't, but I'm sorry about that. But no, but some people didn't get that. It has to be somewhat expensive because it's handmade. Crochet is a craft of love. They just can't appreciate us. Oh, my girl, Unapologetically Mocha, welcome back. Oh, yeah, a guy commented on one of my photos that no one liked homemade crap. I sold that item five minutes later, LOL. Crap. You know what? I've never had my stuff called crap, but I've had my stuff treated like crap. I've made somebody, their baby, a cute little baby crochet baby blanket that I took time, found a yarn, made sure it was natural. And I go to their house and I see their dog is in there on their dog bed. They stuff to the side. I'm like, okay, I ain't doing that for you anymore. Oh, I see somebody. Okay. Maggie says, yes. A lady at work didn't believe that I had crocheted it, not knitted my hat because it had a red brim. People that think they know something want to think they know everything about your craft. Okay. 
Caramel, caramel cutie pie. I like that. Yes, I have. People try to make it seem like crochet is a waste of time, but the positive comments always weigh the negative one. Know what? Keep positive. Don't even think about them. Yeah, this can get me into like a heated topic too. Monica, she says, when I was selling a finished product to someone, someone else busted out and said, oh, they sell these at the beauty shop for $5. I don't think they meant harm, but, you know. Sometimes I don't think people uh, hear the words that are coming out of their mouth. Like, that's rude. You're just what I spent all my time creating, what makes me happy. You just want to spit on Okay, person that's spitting on my talent, what can you do? What is your talent? Can you create? No. I'll take one more. Here we go. Uh, TDSM19, welcome back. My daughter-in-law hates crochet items. I gave her a blanket mama made and caught her giving it away on Facebook. Get rid of her. Get rid of her. Know what? Maybe maybe you dropped your son. Did you drop your son when he was born? Maybe that's why he chose her. I don't know. I'm just picking. I'm just picking. But that is, ooh. This is not a cheers. This is a sip of understanding. Mm. All right. So we're going to get back into these uh, crochet men pattern. Number, oh, we're already on number four. Okay. So what is the craziest thing? Somebody has asked you to crochet. It can be crazy because somebody asked you to crochet it for free. Somebody asked you to crochet it for the price of yarn. Or somebody asked you to crochet something so big and was like, hey, I want it next week. So before you comment, make sure you put question marks right in front of it so I know to bring it up to the front. All right, so let's hop into our next section. Here we go. Screen share. We did the will cover. We did the oh grandma couch cover. Let's scroll down. All right, where am I on my list? This is called the football bottle cozy. Running out of crochet ideas for guys, you can make this fun bottle or can cozy for the football lover in your life. They keep cold drinks insulated so they can stay cold longer. Plus, they look super cool. You can use half double crochet or herringbone half double crochet stitches to make this quick and easy pattern. The designer of this is the perfect stitch. And remember, guys, all these are um, patterns in the description box below. Uh, there's not many pictures for that because it's simple back and forth rows. All right. Scroll down. Oh, no. I got to plug in my laptop. Where's my cord? Oh, young legs, stand up. God, give me a second. I'm plugging in my laptop so we don't die while I'm live. Oh, okay. I got to plug back in. Okay, this one is called the Dragon Egg Dice Bag. I don't know if I would call this a crochet bag for men. Okay, I say this every week. Every week I have this wonderful woman who makes my crochet roundups. She finds these for me and I'm able to put them on my blog and share them with this shoe every single week. Her own crochet uh, website is called nineinspired.com. Her name is Angela Adder, also another wonderful crochet designer. But so when I'm looking at these, I'm pretty much looking at them with you for the first time too. If this is super tiny, it would be pretty cool, but I would take this more as a purse. So let me read this one for you. This is called the Dragon Egg Dice Bag. One second. Do I still got on? Okay, I got the screen share up. If you guys are into board games, he might like this fun dragon egg bag to hold his dice. This bag pattern uses crocodile stitch to mimic dragon scales. The crocodile stitch is really cool and fun once you get the hang of it. There's loads of other crochet projects that use this stitch too, so it's definitely worth learning. The designer of this bag is Nix Nix. Ooh, that's the one. Nix Knits. There we go. I would love to see this bag next to somebody's hand so I can see exactly how big it is. Oh, wait. Oh, this is cute because, okay, look, I can see in comparison to the dice, this is super tiny. 
you could probably put this like I wouldn't say on a keychain, but I don't know. I like this. I've never seen red dye either. Oh, so tiny. If it was bigger, I would say it looks like a purse, but it's smaller. Okay, she had a good pick. I'm sorry. You're the greatest. So we did that one, that one. So we already went through our two. It's time to get back to our question that I asked. Mm -mm. Oh, what is the craziest thing that someone has ever asked you? Before I get into the what is the craziest thing somebody ever asked you, I meant to show Reggie everything that I got in my fiber, uh, traveling fiber box. I wanted to show you guys. The traveling fiber box is something that uh, Reggie set up. Um, I guess this box is going all over the world. There was at least how many uh, people were included on this list, Reggie? Reggie, make sure you comment down below because there was a lot of people on this list. But some of the things I pulled out of this great big box, some place to keep all my crochet hooks. Mm, it opens up like that. I showed you guys last week, I pulled out these yarns. Remember, I love novelty yarns, but I never use them because I don't know what, I just don't know what to do with them. It's just, I just collect them. Somebody told me combine it with another yarn to make something cool. I know I should, but I don't know if I will. I'll just probably collect this too. What else came in there? Where's my, I had something else. Well, I also bought, not bought, but pulled, they were like, for if you want to make a necklace, there were links like that, or for earrings, links like that. I pulled something like that, and I put some items in. I'm not going to tell you because I want to surprise whoever's going to get that fiber box, but I put some items from my crochet gadget review into the box. All right, so the question that I asked, what is the craziest thing anybody's ever asked you to crochet? I remember some, remember when those big, huge blankets became popular with, uh, made with roving yarn? I don't know why anybody would make, want to make a blanket with roving yarn because it will just fall apart in the wash or just get shredded by your pet. But regardless, they're like, oh, can you make me a king size one of those? I'll give you $50. I'm like, that's not even going to pay for material. Oh, uh, what else? I've had somebody ask me to make them a dress and they would give me a hundred dollars. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like dress, head to toe dress for a hundred dollars. No, you just don't appreciate any of my crochet time at all. All right. So let me hop in. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'll start from the bottom. There we go. OX Glitter. My future mother-in-law asked me to crochet her a Ruth Bader Ginsburg style collar to wear to go vote. Ooh, that's cute. Less than a month before election day. And her collar was made of crochet thread. Yeah, why don't you just snap? It's small. It's small. You should be able to make that real quick, right? No, it's crochet thread. I can't make it real quick. Bless anybody who works with crochet thread. Okay. <laughs> Karen said, yeah, anything free. That is, they always ask for something free, but they're like, or they'll be like, oh, I seen the yarn for $3. Can I just get you some yarn and you make me it? Make me a dress and I'll get you some $3 yarn, just one skein of it. XD Symphony said, I had a coworker ask for a blanket and ask how long it would take to make. I said a couple weeks because I have a full-time job. She changed her mind probably because I gave her the price and broke it down. People get so mad when you break it down. When I was doing my custom orders, they're like, if I say I was going to make you a baby blanket, I'm like, I want $100, uh, $100 or $150 depending on uh, the stitch. They're like, excuse me? Even if I was charging like a hundred dollars, I was still only making when I was charging that low, I was still only making like 10 bucks an hour. No, they don't understand. And when you get, to, I never did king side blankets. Cause I'm like, if I'm doing something that big, you paying me thousands. When somebody asked me for that, they said 300. I broke it down how much I would get paid an hour. And it was like, if I do this blanket for you, I'm going to get paid 75 cents an hour. No, I don't want to make you a king size blanket. 
Ugh. I feel you. Here you go. Let me scroll up. Allie B. I'm crocheting my sister a giant worm on a string toy for Xmas. It's too big. Is it one of those patterns you thought, oh yeah, I can whip it up and it's much bigger than you thought it was or it's much more complicated when you, than you thought it was? I used to do that with custom orders. Most of the stuff I would crochet, I never made before. They're like, how much do you think this would cost? And I'm like, oh, okay, I did something like this, so I guess to make the price. I'm like, it is, I don't know, I'll just say $50. And by the time I'm done crocheting it, I'm like, I should have charged $100. Oh, lesson learned. T. Faru says, what are good yarns for medium to thick weight afghans? Good yarns for, uh, if you're talking about uh, worsted weight yarns. Hmm. I love my red hearts, but they're not consistent across the uh, board. You can go with anything line brand. I was thinking my grandma, who was a TDSM, who said they love uh, care on one pound. She used those a lot for her afghans. That was one of her favorite things for because they I guess the yarn is thicker and it's sturdy. And I guess it wouldn't break down as quickly. Laurel B. I'm working on a freehand sweater. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but it's going great. Friends ask how much I charge. When I said around 160 was unfinished, so far unfinished, they, block, they blocked you. Mm. They must not be your friends. Friends always think they deserve the friend discount. Why? Or family. Why? Why should I discount my time? It's not like I'm working on a sewing machine. If I'm crochet or knitting, I love crochet. It's my heart. But you knitters, your stitch is so small. I give you so much credit for making whatever you make with knit. With crochet, you can have a single crochet, but you can also have a treble crochet or whatever bigger. We got awesome big, huge stitches. Huh. Mm, they blocked you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Brenda says, my sister's friend asked me to crochet a queen size blanket with chunky yarn and she wanted it for free. I asked her to buy me the yarn and I don't, I'm not cool. I don't know what SBE means. She blocked every or I'm guessing she didn't want it anymore. Why? Why do they think you want to just give away your time for free? Why? No, I wouldn't ask somebody to, that's like asking somebody to paint my living room, paint my living room for free. Cause you know how to paint. It'll be easy. Why don't I just buy you a can of paint? Have fun. No. Oh, my girl Dieta says my son's friend. He asked me to make a beanie with a crochet boom on it. <laughs> did you do it? I probably would have did it. Actually, I've been wanting to donate to knit knocker i remember i did a live stream on places to crochet to charities i want to do one a video on those but i guess that's better than a boob hat it's actually for people who need it uh caramel cutie pie a you know what cozy i was laughing too hard at the request you know uh, you know what oh uh, oh oh uh, you know i get it i I get it. Um, Camper Girl says dog sweaters for all six dogs for free. No, it's especially hard if you don't know their exact size. And because I was commissioned to make a couple of dog sweaters. I had a tiny dog. Do I have my cute little dog sweater? Oh, I never. Oh, no. Oh, oh that's broken. That's a $40 gadget just hitting the floor. There's my cute little dog sweater. I never finished writing up the, writing up the pattern for it because I was scared people with bigger dogs would be like, I want a pattern and I don't have any other models to customize it to. Okay. Oh, here's a good one. I, f I think I feel a sneeze. Nope. Okay, Brittany, I think I can read yours now. Brittany, technically... It was an ass, but it was a Christmas gift for my future father-in-law. I made him a beer can hat, and it's absolute, absolutely ridiculous. I can't wait to gift it to him. Oh, that's cute. 
Let me scroll up to somebody I haven't talked to. Here we go. Yes, my friend told me that she wanted a huge blanket by next week. And I didn't make it, and I didn't make it for her because she demanded it. What do you mean? Just she just wanted a huge blanket by next week. Like, make this for me. I need it by next week. No. No, 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 no. You don't, they don't deserve your great talent. I'll read one more. Who haven't I talked to? Well, we'll just hop back into the last one. So the last question I'm going to ask, out of all these patterns, we still got two more left to see. Out of all these patterns, which ones do you want to create? And before you answer, make sure you put a question mark in front of it. Or if you have any questions for me, if you want to know what's my favorite color, what am I doing for the holidays, ask me. Or, of course, one of my favorite things to talk about is how to make money with crochet. My my hair is doing weird things in the camera. So if you have any of those questions, just make sure you put question marks in front of it and answer it in a comment. Put your answer in a comment. So let's get into our very last two. One of my this is another one of my favorite crochet pattern designers, repeat crafter me. There we go. Okay, this one is called the did I share my screen? Let me make sure. I did. This one is called the golf cover golf club covers. Crochet the man in your life golf club covers in his favorite team colors. The number um corresponds to a size of the clubs. These crochet Golf club covers look great and will help reduce wear and tear too. The top is made with single crochet stitches and the tube is made from alternating front and back post double half double crochets. So, and don't forget the pom pom. The designer of these are repeat crafter me. You might not believe this, but my family, well, the men in my family, well, actually the little John, little Johns, not just men, are avid golfers. My son loved golf. My husband's addicted to golf. Like uh, when we first met, uh, start first got married, we used to go to Dubois with his grandparents and his father. And we all stay up there at there so they can go golfing up to the golf courses in Dubois. While I sat there, I'm like, I don't golf. He tried to teach me. I'm not any good at it, but eh, I don't mind going to the driving range. So this is what those look like. Maybe I'll make those for my husband and my son. Actually, my son needs a new set of golf clubs. He got too big for his. Here we go. And let me go to the very last pattern. And let pattern number 10 are the basic bulky men's mittens. These free crochet men's mittens are all function with no frills. Bulky yarn and half double crochet make these mittens extra cozy and warm. They're perfect for keeping his hands warm when he's working outside or taking a dog for a walk. The design is worked from top to down in the rounds. The designer of this pattern is Left in Knots Crochet. Oop, let's close this so you can get a better look at it. I love simple mittens. This is one of those patterns that I always talk about where you can just zone out, watch your favorite TV channel and zone out and do some rows. And all of a sudden you're at the thumb, zone out and do some rows. And all of a sudden you're at the wrist, you finish off the thumb and you're dumb, dumb, and you're done. I think they said this is work from the top down. That's my favorite way to work mittens. I don't like working from the bottom up. I don't know. Maybe because I love making hats, working from the top down is just like that. So let's hop back into my face. So guys, out of these patterns, what would you love to make? Or did you have any questions for me? Myself, personally, let me get my cup. I think I'm going to make the golf clubs. I thought about maybe making them for my son, but I'm not going to make his yet because he still needs a new set of golf clubs. His dad said he's just going to solder his down. What you think? You need a new set of golf clubs? I don't know. You don't know? Can I get a snack? Can you get a snack? Yeah. Why do kids always need a snack? Yes, you can get a snack. Okay. Be free. I swear he he is hungry like every two hours. Is that, that how often you get hungry, son? Every two hours? I think so. Your stomach starts screaming at you? No. Uh, no? It just whispers something? Lovely boy. Mm. If you're just watching, I have a wonderful nine-year-old son. He's always hungry for snacks. He's been home with me homeschooling for the past 
two weeks. He was in school for like two weeks. Then he was out of school for like three weeks. It's just, he's just staying home from school right now. So now I'm his assistance teacher, assisted teacher, because he's still having virtual learning. Like he's in virtual class. He's with his teacher online. And I'm the person in the background that keeps saying, pay attention, pay attention. What did she just say? Look at the, that's me. That's what I do all day. Or I'm the one that helps in between classes trying to figure out his complicated fourth grade math. I swear what he's learning in fourth grade is what I learned in like college. At least I think it is. <laughs> I just can't do it. So let me hop into the comments and see what you guys are asking. Do, do, do. Oh, yes. Reggie says, I have two boys. They are literally hungry all the time. While they're eating, they say they want more. My husband is the cook in my house. It is so funny. Whenever he comes home from work, usually we are. I always say we have to greet everybody when they come home. If my husband comes home, my daughter comes out, my son comes out, I come down to the door. I greet the same thing with my daughter. Come. We greet them. And we all say, how was your day? How was work? The first thing out of my son's mouth is, dad, what's for dinner today? What are you going to feed me? First thing he's going to ask. While homeschooling, our break for uh, school for lunch is 1230. My son has so such difficulty in math. But if it's like 1045, he says it is one hour and 45 minutes until lunchtime. You can figure that out in your head, but yet when I'm asking you to do this problem, you like, I don't know. But if it comes to food, he knows. Gina says, are there any crafts that you would love to learn to do? Yes, I'm in the process. I know it and don't know it. Macrame. I absolutely love macrame. It looks like crochet, but it's not. I just love the knots and twists of it. My mom is a big, huge macrame. -er. She made me this beautiful. I hope I can put the camera back. Can you see my macrame thing on the wall my mother made for me? It's like a tree of life macrame. Let's see if I can get the camera. Oh, I got it. I just love it. And she started teaching me how to do it. And then I'm like, yeah, I gave up on it. Okay, let's see. Miss OX Glitter says, I'm working on a sparkly crochet hat with a detachable crochet sparkly poinsettia brooch for my nail lady. I'm loving it. I'll be making myself one. Her flowers will be in her favorite colors, baby blue. Sounds beautiful. Sabrina says macrame uh, is easy to learn. It is the stitches are very, not stitches, the knots. The knots are very simple. But what I have problem with, with is remembering because one knot has to match this knot. If you're making, it's called a square knot. So a square knot has to match this side to make a square. But if you're trying to make a spiral, you just keep knotting on the same side. Spiral's not too bad. I was able to get that what I wasn't able to get in macrame was when the knot travels down the strand. If you're a macrame, you understand. Kayla says, how can I make money with crochet? Every time somebody asks for something, I feel bad charging them, and I want to reach out to a wider audience of customers. You have to break the mold of crochet. I keep saying crochet is an art of love. We're used to giving away for free, and the first time we charge... We're charging basically nothing for our work. Don't be ashamed. You're not the only one. The very first item I sold was a, for a little kid, it was a crochet Batman mask. It was a hat with the eyes and mask, but the whole hat with a scarf that was for a, probably a five-year-old, a scarf that had the crochet and like armor groomy, like single crochet, a Batman symbol all over, beautiful set. For $25, that's all I charge. And, and I didn't ask for the money up front. Then she had the nerve to not pay me for like a month and a half. Like, I don't got the $25. I'm like, I did this intricate, wonderful thing for your son for only $25. I should have charged you like 
seventy dollars, but no, that made me mad. I understand, but so how can I'm sorry, I'm got personally. So how can you make money doing what you need to do? Now that you want to make money, your business, make yourself a Facebook business page right now and your work, make sure you take pictures of your work. When you're taking pictures of your work, make sure you're not taking pictures of yourself on the couch or with your husband in the Mac background. Whatever you're taking pictures of, make sure it's on a cl clear, a clear, clean white background. I like to use poster boards or my living room wall that's gray. In my pictures, my living room wall looks white, but a nice clean background and just post it online. But the trick is posting it nonstop. Post it on Instagram twice a day. Post it in Facebook twice a day. Join Facebook selling groups, nonstop marketing. I always tell people, I am not the best crocheter in the world. I'm never gonna say, hey, love little John Yarns. I'm the best crocheter. No, I think I'm an average crocheter, but guess what? I am the best marketer that you know. You know why? Because you're watching me now. You know me. I'm able to present myself in a consistent basis all the time that you see me. That's how I grew to be this big, by being everywhere. So get on every social media platform, post your work, do that. And go into my, uh, make sure you're subscribed, go into my channel. I believe I have a playlist on how to make money with crochet. So watch some of my live streams or go over to my website. On my website, there is an entrepreneurial uh, for crocheters who want to make money. There's an entrepreneurial link. There's articles of that I've written about how to make money with crochet. So check that out. Okay. Is there a yarn brand that you recommend particular? No. The yarn that you have, make it work for you. I am not a yarn snob. I am a yarn lover. Who was it that said they're a yarn gremlin? I like that. I think I'm going to take that too. I'm a yarn gremlin. Rainy Season says, I'm getting back into crochet and knitting now that I've had the money to get hooks and needles and yarn. I have to leave most of my craft stuff behind, leaving an abusive household. I love your channel. Congratulations for getting out of a horrible situation. But you know what? Lean into crochet. For me, crochet is what gave me zen. And know what? Also, crochet can be what makes you money in a new situation. So either do it for to relax or do it to make money or do just because you love it. Here we go. I am making a twisted headband. Lots of people are ordering it. Okay, and the jet, I think, I hope I'm saying your name wrong, wrong, right, but I'm probably saying it wrong. But you hit like the nail on the head. Such small items like crochet headbands. You can sell those quick and you're not giving away a lot of your time. How Would you rather have five headband orders or one huge blanket? I can probably make more money selling a couple hats than I would making a huge blanket. But there are some people who are talented at making blankets. But if you want to make blankets, make sure you are charging what you deserve. That is work. My girl, uh, Crochet Stitching Diva, actually, I'm going to be on a live stream with her tomorrow on her channel at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. She has been able to make lots of money doing custom orders, making graph gam blankets, but she charges good money. So never undercut yourself. Let me scroll up. Crafting Creation says, what should I make charge at my first uh, craft fair in summer fall? Oh, craft fairs can be the devil. Only because the craft, I don't know, I'm in, I've only been in craft fairs in Pennsylvania. But the times I've gone to the craft fairs in Pennsylvania, I will see crocheters selling adult hats for $5 or baby hats, three hats for $5 for a baby hat. And I'm thinking... A lot of people in craft fairs undercut themselves. So that area, I can't give you an exact gauge on what you should sell. But I do recommend selling items that are quicker to make. 
You know what I mean? Most people don't want to go someplace and spend more than um, $25. So make sure you make, make something that people are willing to say, oh, I think I can spend $25 on this and you don't feel bad about it. Make air warmers, uh, headbands, make fingerless gloves. That's why I love this is a great machine for the crafters. I got the, my yarn all wrapped around it. I'm going to show you in a second. When I was doing craft shows, I haven't done too many. I've only done like two, three. I was making uh, the crochet headbands. I wish I had one near me, but I was able to crank out tube headbands in no time. I didn't feel like I was wasting time knitting, not knitting, but crocheting a headband. I was able to make a stocking it tube on this and make headbands and sell them quickly or make a knit hat on my bigger machine, make a hat in 20 minutes and crank that out instead of crocheting a hat. So I'm sorry, I can't help you with the pricing of those. You're, for me personally, I was able to make more money online because my customer base was bigger. Local people can sometimes be stingy. Oh, oh I got a super chat. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Epic. Way. Again, thank you so much. I recently broke two hooks over uh, 50 pounds down the drain. Oh, were they good hooks? Don't break. I love what was they what they were wooden. They're probably one of them beautiful wooden hooks. I've always, I'm just a basic crocheter. I've always done my metals, Susan Bates. I know I need to get a more, because I don't know if you guys remember, I had the crochet nurse on here about three months ago. I know I need a more, what's the word? I'm ergonomic. I know I need a more ergonomic crochet hook, but uh, I'm so used to my Susan Bates. I don't know. But here you go. Let's give you a spin. And cheers. Thank you again for donating. Hey, you get it back. So make sure you email me so I can send you an Amazon gift card of $5. LittleJohnYarns, gmail.com. The link is down below. Thank you so much. Beep boop. Beep boop. Okay. Najat, I'm saying it right. You are saying it right. It means survival in Arabic. Cheers to both for us for me saying it right. I usually butcher everybody's name. Angela, thank you so much. She says she is from Bedford, England, and I love your YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. And guys, if you have any more questions for me, make sure you put comments in front of it. So yeah, question marks in front of it. So I know to bring it up to the front. If anything, business or what's going on, what would you love? Ivy B Create says, I want to learn how to green screen with crochet item garments. I don't know how to do that. I would like to know how to do that also. Who donated via Super Chat? Okay, let's see if I can get your name. Tamishi? Did I, or Tamichi? I hope I said it right. I'm sorry, but thank you so much for donating. Cheers, my lookalike face. So let me spin the wheel for you. Wait, did I spin the wheel? Yeah, I spin the wheel for the last person. Okay. Tamichi Tangles, let me give you a spin. You landed on the blue, you get the reversible headband. Wait, let me make sure. Reversible headband pattern. Let me show you what that looks like. Ba -doo -ba -doo. Oh, it's already pulled up. So it looks like this on one side. It's because it's the knit stitch, or is it called also called the herringbone stitch? Not sure. But, and this is what it looks like on the other side because it looks like knit. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Here we go. Valerie wants to know, how do you become a contract crocheter? Crocheter? Crocheting for other crocheters. I do not know. 
Oh, do you mean like uh, somebody who does custom orders, but there's just way too many of them? I thought I tried to do that when I transitioned from custom orders to be more of a um, pattern designer. I tried to do both. I wasn't able to do it. So therefore, I tried to contract out other crocheters and I wasn't able to keep up people who were up to my standards. Sometimes people just want to crochet as a hobby. I would have people return stuff late and it was just a pain. I did have one wonderful girl. She was pretty cool. Let's see. And if I ever miss anybody's super chat, let me know. Because sometimes they don't pop up. All right. Oh, Laurel B has the answer for the green screen question. Green screen question on green screening in high school photography. We used an Adobe program that could green screen on any solid color. I'd say research on video editing progress before doing it. Here we go. OX Glitter, I know what me and you, I feel like we're starting to chat back and forth now. All right, try using small <laughs> super small balls of scrap yarn and making yourself a handle for your hooks, Alicia. That's what I used to do by wrapping the handles. I think that's what I need to do. I lose my hooks too. Are any of you like this? Well, you probably don't know, have this problem like me. If you've ever followed any of my crochet patterns, I'll have crochet patterns done in a six millimeter crochet hook or a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I love to make patterns with a five millimeter crochet hook, but I always lose my hook. Maybe if I put that ergonomic uh, yarn around it, I'll be able to spot it when I lose it. I usually put it in my hair and find it like at night when I'm Scratching my head. Oh, there's a hook. Von Toria, I hope I probably got your name wrong, but how to become a crochet pattern tester. You can become a crochet pattern tester on Ravelry, or you can just go into like crochet groups on Facebook. If you would like to, you can join my Facebook group. I Facebook group, the I think my link is still in the description box. And I just post to my Facebook group members like, hey, I have this new pattern. Would any of you like to help me out as a pattern tester? That's how I get mine. So when I make patterns, I send it to my testers in my Facebook group. And then after my testers in my Facebook group test them, I send them over to my tech editor. My testers, I don't pay, but my tech editor that beep, boop, boop, fix everything for me, I do pay her to do that. <laughs> Mary says, how do you stay organized with projects? I have millions of projects in my head. I want to make, but only like to do one at a time. I understand, Mary, I understand. I haven't made a crochet pattern because lately most of the videos that I've been making are review videos because that's what you guys have been liking to see from me, review videos or collabs or live streams and the patterns I keep starting patterns with different yarns until my half of my side of my bedroom is like covered in yarn from new yarns I start new patterns with and stop. Then I'm like, I got yarns everywhere. How do I stay organized? It's hard. Until I pick the pattern, it's chaos. It's just pure chaos in my house. Is bad. My husband understands it. My kids understand it. They know just to not touch it because one of those like patches of things might be something that comes into a wonderful pattern. But I have difficulties too. So I can't give you any good tips. I'm sorry. I'm horrible. Oh, whose channel am I going to be on tomorrow? Her name is Creative Stitching Diva. Her name is Shauna Givens. So, uh, I guess try to remember that creative stitch in the letter diva. That's whose channel I'm going to be on tomorrow. She's just going to do an interview with me just to get to know me. She says she doesn't want to know the little John yarn. She wants to know the real me. I guess I'll give her the best. I, I don't know. I think you guys know the real me, but we'll see. Let's see. Let me scroll down.
Uh, <laughs> oh, excluder again. I keep my currently used hooks in a makeup bag with my projects. My remaining hooks I keep in a plastic organizer box with my other yarn gadgets. That's good. Oh, I am good. Well, not my yarn. My crochet hooks I'm not good with. When I'm looking for a map pattern, I'm not good. But when I'm on the pattern, my organization is perfect. I have my hooks all placed in a way, except for the one I need. I have everything. Other than that, yeah. Maria. Hey, Maria. So what all the social media channels you have going how do you organize your day to make sure you hit all the areas that you need i feel so overwhelmed all right now that i'm finally doing crochet completely full time i've created a schedule when i first wake up in the morning i hit all my emails i make sure i check all those then i like to i pinterest market using pinterest to market yourself it's absolutely free and you get traffic for free from Pinterest. Pinterest is not a normal so social media platform. Pinterest can make you money. So after I check all my emails and send emails out to whoever I need to, I hop on my uh, Pinterest. I make sure I share uh, photos to all my Pinterest boards and other Pinterest groups. After I do that, I hop on my uh, Facebook Yes, I hop on my Facebook, I make sure I check any of my comments, and after that, I make sure I send, if I have a brand new blog or whatever, I send my brand new free pattern, free blog, to uh, my Facebook groups. I'm a member of at least 60 Facebook pattern groups, since Facebook patterns are my niche. I'm sending my free pattern blog or whatever to all those 60 groups. This is something I do every single day. After I do that, I check in my YouTube. I started doing YouTube shorts, so I start creating those. So YouTube's my social media platform. I am horrible on Instagram. I'm gonna try to do better, but I like to stick to the platforms that I am know I'm making money in. I know I make money from Facebook, easy. I know I make money from YouTube, easy. I know I make money from Pinterest, easy. So for me personally, those are the things I focus hard on. But if you're doing custom orders, still focus on uh, Instagram. It's the way to go. And I just started my first TikTok. Young children, I'm a TikToker. I got my first TikTok video up. So if anybody else is on TikTok, find me. I'm Little John Yarns. My name is the same on any platform. But my first two hours of my day, is straight social media. That's what I hit and that's what I hit hard, including my email marketing. That is also in my morning routine. Oh, there is somebody that I got to leave. Okay, I had to put a user in timeout. I didn't know I can do that. There's a button. That's weird. Okay. I fixed the spam gas. Don't worry. Okay, where am I? Any more questions? Najat, I'm happy I can uh, pronounce your name correctly. I love my five millimeter crochet hook. I use it the most out of all my hooks and my two, two milli, bless your heart, two millimeter hook for my doll. You know what? Of course you do. See, your icon is really small on my screen, but from what I see, that is the most beautiful amigurumi doll. Look at the hair. It's just like whoosh to the side. I, amigurumi kills my hands. I haven't done much of it, but when I was doing like crochet baby shoes, you're still using a lot of single crochet. I used to make these crochet uh, baby Adidas. Killed my hand. It's like, oh, Lord. Oh, don't worry, Dieta. I got it. I wish I knew a way to get spam mail after being on Pinterest. It's horrible. <gasps> True, it does. But for me, well, my spam mail goes into my spam mailbox folder. I don't mind it too much because it's just how I make money. I just keep at it. It's what I do. But I guess if you're not doing it as a business, it can be quite annoying. Wait, it didn't pop up. Stickers never get these, but I'm going to turn it on for you, Dorito. Epic Space Dorita, and thank you for finally telling me the story of how you got your name. It was a good one. Cheers to you. Epic Space Dorito, you can do whatever you want. You can come to my house for dinner if you like. You know, I'm in Pennsylvania. 
<laughs> Obviously, my husband's cooking. So if you want any pattern, whatever you want, you want to come to dinner, come on, send me an email. We can chat. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll turn these off. Oh, we're going long today. I didn't realize. The Jack says, thank you. I love Amagurumi. It's the first thing I learned when I started. That is the first thing you learn. The first thing I learned was I was on double crochet for at least the first 15 years of my life. Man. <laughs> Hobby crochet. How do you do live streams? I did my first stream today and it was so noisy. Tell me please about sound. Okay. I don't know. But the software that I use is, I originally used StreamYard, but I learned I love to do interviews. That's StreamYard. I usually, what is it called? One second. I'm going to shrink my screen. I hope this camera still shows me. It is called, oh, Stream OBS. Was I still there? It's called Stream OBS. That is something you download onto your uh, laptop. That's great, but I love doing interviews. So that's when I started using StreamYard. StreamYard is all done online, so you don't have to worry about um, your the software that your computer and make sure it does, doesn't like glitch or whatnot. Yes, Jada? You want people to see you? Because no. you're super cute? No. Okay. That's my daughter back there. My sweet little baby. She's 19 and a half. <laughs> She's such a cute. She's just, what are you? Uh, 500 and something months, <laughs> my little baby. Okay, what was I talking about? I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. Oh, stream, what I use is StreamYard. StreamYard is completely done online, so you don't have to worry about using some type of bandwidth or whatever, but it's done online and it's super easy. What I use to stream, I originally had a Logitech 930E. That cost me two years ago, like 70 something dollars. But since the pandemic, you can't get like a webcam less than like 150. All those prices went completely up. So I was looking for a super cheap webcam. I wish I could. It's generic what I have right now. This generic webcam that I bought for $45 is so much better than my expensive Logitech webcam. But I don't even need a microphone. Everything is done with my this cheap $45 webcam. This is way better than what I was using like two months ago. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, is she a June baby? No, she's an April baby. She's born April 4th. 4-4. Four, four. All right. I'll answer one. Look at one more. Sarah said she's going to make the stairwell cover for me. You know what? That's one thing as crocheters we don't do. We don't make stuff for us, specifically for us. What I want to make more is clothes for me. I love wearing crochet tops. Personally, I only have for myself three crochet tops. I need more because I just like the way they look on me. All right, guys, we've been talking for almost an hour and a half. We're just going to wrap this up. Uh, oh, next week we are going to have TL Yarn Craft. Tony from TL Yarncraft on her live stream. She is going to join us. I'm going to interview her, talk to her about how she became a crocheter, what she loves about it, and you guys can ask her any questions. I've been wanting to have her on my show for so long. So please make sure you come back to me next week so you can meet Tony from TL Yarncrafts. All right, guys, it was nice talking to you all, and I'll see you on the last next live stream. <laughs> Bye.